Today's topic is Albert Cox. Albert Frank Cox was born December 5, 1895 in Evansville, Indiana. He was the oldest of three boys, born to his father, Johnson Cox, and his mother, Eugenia D. Cox. Johnson Cox was a school principal. Having graduated from Evansville College and graduate studies at Indiana University, close-knit and highly religious, the Cox family had a deep respect for learning that reflected on his father's educational career. When young Elbert had demonstrated unusual ability in high school mathematics, he was directed toward Indiana University. While at Indiana, he was elected to undergraduate offices and joined the Kappa Alpha Phi fraternity. Elbert, along with three other African-American graduates, had the word colored printed across their transcripts. After receiving his A.B. at Indiana University, Elbert entered the U.S. Army as a private during World War I and was promoted to Staff Sergeant six months later. After his discharge, he pursued a career in teaching mathematics at a high school in Henderson, Kentucky. In December 1921, he joined the faculty of Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Two years later, he was awarded with an Erastus Brooks Fellowship and attended to Cornell University with a full scholarship. In the summer of 1925, when Elbert received his doctorate degree from Cornell, he became the first African American to earn such a degree in pure mathematics, a field concerned with mathematical theory rather than with practice or application. In the fall of 1925, Cox became the head of the Mathematics and Physics Department at West Virginia State College. On September 14, 1927, he married Viola P. Kaufman, an elementary school teacher. They have four sons, James, Eugene, Elbert, and Kenneth. Only Kenneth died at the age of 17 months. In 1929, he moved to Washington, D.C. to join the faculty of Howard University. In 1947, Cox became the chair of Howard's Department of Mathematics, a position he held until 1961, a rule that mandated that all department heads must resign at the age of 65. In addition to his contributions to abstract mathematics, he made his mark as an educator by helping build Howard's grading system the year he joined after their staff and by advising multiple successful master's degree candidates in mathematics. Elbert Cox worked as a full-time professor in the department until his retirement in 1965. During his career, he specialized in difference equations, interpolation theory, and differential equations. He has received professional honors and memberships. He was also active in the American Mathematical Society, the American Physical Society, and the American Physics Institute. In November 28, 1965, Elbert Cox died at the age of 73 of a brief illness. In 1980, the National Association of Mathematics honored Cox with the inauguration of the Cox Talbot Address, which is given annually at the NAMS National Meeting. Albert Cox was the first African American to earn a PhD degree in pure mathematics in the United States, as well as the world. After he retired, Howard University had established a scholarship fund named after Cox to encourage future black mathematicians to come to Howard.